morning everybody welcome to exploring the car and I am backing up in reverse and so is this one So, I want to elaborate on what I call, or what is called a shadow sacrifice. And I feel that a lot of these elites, rulers, dictators, and people like that are using shadow sacrifice family lines. It's very similar to uh, what Japanese occults call uh, it's spelled K-A-G-E dash N-I-E. I don't know how to pronounce it. My friend Masaki told me how to pronounce it, but I'm not sure. I forget how to pronounce it. So I don't want to butcher it, but that's the way it's spelled. And what that is, is kind of the reverse idea of a voodoo doll. What people do is... They use a doll as a shadow sacrifice. So if somebody was going to intend harm on a person, whatever harm would go towards that person, the doll would receive instead of that person. For example, if an emperor was going to be assassinated, he would have a shadow sacrifice doll, right? So if somebody was attempting the assassination and say they shot the, the, the president or the emperor or whatever ruler, right? Then that inflicted bullet, that, that inflicted pain would actually be received by the doll and not the dictator or not whoever, you know, the president or whoever, you know, was intended for it. At the same time, these shadow sacrifices now, I feel, are a soul technology and being used as human shadow sacrifices and certain family lines were bred or made for their genetics and their family line to be chosen as human shadow sacrifices. So whatever someone was going to hurt somebody, if that person has a shadow sacrifice, the other human would experience the pain instead of the one that was supposed to be hurt by it. So, certain family lines are bought and bred for the whole sole purpose to be chosen as a shadow sacrifice for someone higher status than them. So, I feel a lot of these elites, a lot of these people, are buying purchasing a shadow sacrifice from one of these family lines and these family lines some of them have lost the information and do not realize that their family genetics are a shadow sacrifice so a mother will be impregnated on purpose chosen for her baby pre-birth to be a shadow sacrifice and she may not even know it or the, the child and when the child all of a sudden if 
experiences a death from out of nowhere or some kind of disease or some kind of something all troubled throughout its life and then finally like a death that didn't make sense it's because this child may have been chosen as a shadow sacrifice and whatever person that people are trying to damage it's usually chosen by people bad people who are always everybody's always out to get them or somebody wants what they have or whatever um, dictators things like this are chosen as shadow sacrifices so I don't want to disrespect anybody who has already passed but I feel Max Spears may have been a shadow sacrifice and his family line is chosen certain people are bought as shadow sacrifices it's very it's quite possible and it makes a little bit of sense when you start to put the pieces of the puzzle together and maybe some of these elites and rock stars who are dying now had purchased shadow sacrifices for themselves and then their shadow sacrifice was murdered or taken away and so now it will be double afflict the damage upon the person who originally wanted the shadow sacrifice. It's very complicated, but it's very simple. You know, the energy, the inflicted damage is misdirected onto somebody else. scary thought, it's a scary situation, but I feel that family lines are being bred for this reason, and like I said, the knowledge, the occult knowledge has been lost over time. So, these family lines don't realize they are shadow sacrifices and I feel that back in the day it may be it, it may have been looked at as an honor to be one of these families in the dark occult circles that it was possibly an honor to be chosen as a sacrifice sort of like the Mayans where you know when they were making sacrifices people were honored and giving themselves up to the Sun or to the blood god, you know, to for the crops to be okay for that year, or what have you. And, uh, you know, shadow sacrifices are scary, a scary thing. But it's, it's definitely out there, for sure. And, you know, I speculate about who's, um, who can be one or who couldn't be one, but my intentions are not to point fingers, but to make people aware of this technology or magic, whatever you want to call it. And um, I have a new page on my website too. You can check out themysticalspiral.com and spiral out.